It's now time to step towards Anoke Rang. This Rangarang segment will be hosted by our well-respected host, Dr. Krishan Chabra. Today, Dr. Chabra has alongside him a brilliant student. His name, Master Sunny Rhodes. Together, these two gentlemen will point out to us what and how of Vedic Mathematics Part 1. Let's see this interesting conversation. Hello, I'm Dr. Krishan Chabra and welcome to An OK Rang. I have a young guest with me today. Hello, my name is Sunny Rhodes. I am 10 years old and I am in fifth grade. Thank you, Sunny. I'm sure that some of you may have heard about or know something about Vedic mathematics and some of you may be just wondering what is Vedic mathematics. Well, today's segment is titled what and how of Vedic mathematics and it will be part one. We will provide you with some basics about Vedic math and my young assistant will show you how to solve some math problems. So, what is Vedic math? Vedic math is a set of 16 sutras or mathematical formulae discovered by Jagat Guru Swami Shri Bharti Krishna Tiradji Maharaj and described in his book titled Vedic Mathematics. The book was written posthumously and was first published in 1965. What are these sutras? The ancient word sutra means a thread of knowledge. These sutras are mathematical aphorisms or formulae. There are 16 sutras. In addition, there are 13 subsutras or corollaries. These sutras and subsutras can be used to solve mathematical problems, some of which can be solved in fewer steps and in less time as compared to the conventional methods. However, there are some questions such as, is Vedic math derived from Vedas? What is the scope of the mathematical problems that can be solved? Or how comprehensive are these sutras? Well, we do not have time to go into detail. One of the articles in this regard is a 10 page article titled Myths and Reality on Vedic Mathematics by Professor S. G. Dhani. It's an excellent article that provides a detailed review and analysis of the book and its claims, and the article includes very good references. The bottom line, these sutras do not exist in the Vedas, and the title of the book as Vedic Mathematics is misleading. These sutras can solve a limited set of mathematical problems. These sutras consist of short phrases in Sanskrit, but their interpretation does not provide various steps needed to solve the problem. Nonetheless, these sutras are scholarly formulated by the author, are based on mathematical principles, and provide faster method of computation for certain types of mathematical problems. These methods, although independent, can be considered to be similar in spirit to the Trachtenberg's speed system and Lester Meyer's high speed math. Now, let's talk about a sutra. It reads in Sanskrit as Nikhilam Navtash Charmam Dashta, which means all from nine and last from 10. We will use this sutra to solve a multiplication problem consisting of high numbers and Sunny will help us. So the problem is to multiply 9998 by 9989 and this chart shows the solution using the conventional method. And now Sunny will first solve the problem using the sutra. Thank you. That was quick. 
and now Sunny will explain the steps in solving the problem. The first step is to find a base which is usually to a power of 10 and is close to both numbers. So in this case it would be 10,000 The next step is to do what the sutra says, all from 9, last from eight, 10. So it would be 9 from 9, 0, 9 from 9, 0, 9 from 9, 0, and 10 from 8, 2. Next is 9 from 9, 0, 9 from 9, 0, 9 from 8, 1, and 10 from 9, 1. The next step is to make a small dashed line to show that the answer consists of two parts, the right side and the left side. The next step is we find how much digits would be on the right side. It is due to the number of zeros in the base. So there would be four digits. The next step is to multiply th these two numbers together and put them down on the right side. But for there to be four digits, you have to put two zeros in front of it. The next step is we do cross subtraction. 9989 minus two or 9998 minus 11. Either way, you would get 9987002. Thank you, Sunny. Now, in this problem, both the numbers 9998 and 9989 are close to and less than the base. What if the numbers are farther away from the base? What if one number is less than the base and the other number is more than the base? Well, depending on the situation, it may take more time to solve the problem. A different sutra can also be used depending on the attributes of the number. This is all for today. Please join us next month for part 2 and we will talk more about some more sutras and solve some more math problems. From Sunny and I to all of you, Namaskar. Namaskar.